Welcome, my name is Azili, and today I'm gonna show you how to go from uh to yay with Move It 2019 edition, among other things. So we're updating a tutorial we already have on the channel. It's uh it's linked below, but you probably don't need it anymore. I don't know why I just said that, but I did. Anyway, uh, Move It totally updated, totally taken over by the one, the only marvelous Cuboid. Fantastic taking it over with permission, I must tell you. Uh, so it is now being maintained and all kinds of crazy updates have happened to it. And I want to make sure that uh, you guys know how to use it. So I'm going to first demonstrate with some roads. And then we're going to just demonstrate with some buildings. So this is 60 units wide or long rather. And that measurement is coming to me through a, a mod called precision engineering those lines are there by default those tell you where your nodes are going to be so shortcut for the letter m to engage move it and i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this a little closer a circle this is the node right this is a segment quick undo uh some shortcuts letter m to engage move it if I move this, oops, too far, I can control or command Z unless you have your Mac set up something different. Um, it should still work. So I've grabbed that. If I want to take this node, this node, and this node, or more importantly, let's take, let's take this node and this node. I'm going to hold down shift as I click this and see how they're chosen. Alternatively, I can engage the marquee selection and toggle all of these things off except for the nodes. And now I've just dragged with the left click, dragged the box around it and voila, magic. Okay, so either way, that's how you can select multiple things. Just like you make tunnels or elevated road lines with a tool called called uh, find road find road tools and find road anarchy. When I do this, I'm paging up to elevate this segment of road, which is cool because then I could take say a highway through it, right? So I'm going to use Road Anarchy to just go through it. And I'm going to do the same. And I have a list of these mods on my Twitch channel, but I'll also link that collection down below. So there's that magic. I've elevated that. I'm now make, making a bridge. I'm also using land to get to that height. Now... This is this is the funky bits, yeah? Maybe I'm going to take these guys, pull them slightly back. If I hold down Alt, they stay snapped together. I totally did not hit the Shift key. And pull them slightly away like this. Now, with the Find Road Tools, I can then grab this segment. Find Road Tools gives you this box, and I can use this button to then upgrade that road. And now with some other devices, you can cover this up, make it look pretty. We're not going to get into that today, but... You can use a plethora of things, but if I hold down Alt as I move this, I might I might find a convenient, see, look at that. I might find a convenient spot where we'll no longer do that funky, let's look into the matrix bit. We could also pull this a little further and then use your tools, your landscaping tools. I'm currently using a mod to do this, also linked down below but I can also do stuff like this, right? Okay, enough of this. Back to the meat and potatoes. An exciting new feature is align 
what is it, align nodes? Or align slope, rather. If I click this node right here, and then I click this button, which is found underneath your triangle, it opens up this menu. It is the second one from the bottom. If I click this guy, and then I click this guy, bing! Take a look at that. Holy cannoli. Let's do that again. So if I click this guy, see how it's chosen? It's green. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Trust me. Here. And I click this guy, align slope. I click this node, and I click this node, and whoosh, right? Like, look at that. Magic. Okay. That, my friends, is one new feature. Some other existing features that also still exist, which I don't know why they would go away. I still have my copy function, which is also control C and I can place it. If I don't want things to follow the terrain. So for instance, I'm going to go over here into a mountain and I place it. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Right. We're getting into echo territory here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. This is probably not good for the game engine. So again, that's this button. Follow terrain and then snap. So snapping can be the bane of your existence. It will snap to all kinds of things. Now, you can achieve this by leaving this off and holding down Alt and it turns on automatically. See how that button lights up? I'm holding down my Alt key, and the button lights up as I move this. When I let go, it's no longer lit. I haven't found a shortcut. This is probably in the, in the the for the follow terrain. I'd rather click it because it it's just how I work, right? It's just how we work here. Uh, still, still expected. You have... All of these choices, I can then select roads, tracks, paths, fences, power lines, and other. So these all used to be a standalone addition to this mod that uh, now is implied or included into this. So that's, that's a new feature. And then, of course, you still have your bulldozer, right? Now, other things with Move It. We talked about we talked about the new the groovy new align slope. I'm just gonna behave normal here. And I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go here and we're gonna elevate this. So this numbers again is precision engineering. Very handy tool. If I want to make this node be this elevated or at that elevation, I can hit this guy and then this bottom align height. Click on it. I didn't click it right. Boom. Voila. So you have two things that deal with your elevation. Align height. Align slope. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need it. So now I'm going to use, I'm going to place some buildings down. Uh, let's do this. I'm using find it to find and locate buildings. Let's just, these are random off the workshop, but I want you to see these are the Chicago brownstones. Let's do four. I want to. I want you to see the angle. So if I engage move it by hitting the letter M, I can use the marquee selection, which is your square here, 
grab these guys, but I don't want this middle one. So if I hold down shift and click it, it will deselect it. But I want it anyway. Ha ha, I fooled you. Kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're going to move these any which way. Close this guy. We don't need it. So these cools immediately rotate valid items randomly. So if I choose these guys, I'm holding down shift and I'm clicking or you can use the marquee tool. I can hit this button. Bam. Look, it's a disco party. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Disco party. Disco party. Okay, enough of that. Whoopsh. Let's undo it. I'm doing control Z or control Z to undo. Perfect. Yay, we did it. The next one is align group rotate around a central point. So I'm going to grab these guys. Bam. I'm going to hit this button. And now it's rotating. Now watch this. If I take this out of our selection. And click it. Oh my goodness. Holy guacamole. <laughs> um, excuse me. What's happening here? So using the rotate around a central point, I have this collection of buildings rotating around the middle building, which I told the computer or told the mod, this is the point I want to rotate around. So there we go. So say if you're making uh, like a nice sculptural piece or something to that effect. There you go. Now let's do the last but not least align in place, rotate selected items. If I hit this guy and see how it's lit up and I click this guy, it aligned all of them to be straight with this. I know it was very subtle here. Align in place. It's your middle-ish, if you count this as a button. It's your middle button. It's really the third from the top and third from the bottom. Oh, what? Check that out. Although I think these were a little freaked out by whatever happened. So let's do this. I'm using the right, I'm clicking and then I'm right clicking to move them. So now shift, click, 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 click this guy and then click this guy. Wham. Check that out. Isn't that cool? I thought so. Alrighty, that is it for this brief update to the new Movement Mod tools in 2019. Yes, I'm dating this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, emotional outbursts, drop them in the comments down below. You can catch me over on Twitch pretty much five days a week. I play this game often over there. Again, there's also content here on this channel. Until next time, be good to each other. Stay awesome.